Welcome to um, a humid, wet but very exciting day down at Circular Quay because it's the official launch of Australia's newest sports team, the Para Matildas. With me is Georgia Bykoff, who everyone should know is a Paralympian who has medalled for Australia before in another sport, and Sarah Walsh, who is a former Matilda but also uh, now your head of legacy for the Women's World Cup and, and what an enormous legacy this is. Georgia, first to you, how proud is this moment? Oh, it's indescribable. I've been uh, playing football since I was six and it was unheard of to see a woman with CP uh, representing her country and um, it's truly a dream come true. Yep. Can you compare it to the Olympic experience, the Paralympic experience you've already had and how, how different this is, um, how significant this yep. is and what it means for your future? I competed in javelin in athletics when I was 19. Um, and came back with a bronze medal, which was a massive surprise, but I don't know, football's always been my first love and there's just something about the beautiful game that just makes my heart pump. Um, so yeah, it's just very exciting. It's the world game in the world language, isn't yes, it? Yeah, totally, yeah. completely. Well, it's wonderful to have this new team and just, um, Sarah, explain the significance of this as part of the legacy of the Women's World Cup and launched today on a day which is 500 days to the FIFA World Cup. Yeah, well, it's, it's I mean, we, we have a, a, real, a real life example in the Combank Matildas with how important visibility is. Um, and, you know, we obviously um, didn't have a national team uh, for women with CP, uh, acquired brain injury or symptoms from stroke. So for us, it was really about building the complete pathway and, and really visibility, we think will help us grow uh, the numbers that we have within the pathway. And I mean, these amazing women, I mean, there's, there's sometimes I turn up to work and I have good days, but today is a really great day. I'm super excited. And, you know, we had the point made a number of times today that there's been a men's a roost team for 30 years was it yeah, <laughs> why yeah. has it taken so long is, is there any reason for that uh, do you know what we we're just talking about it this morning um you know it's, it's challenging sometimes we're, we're a, an organization that runs a number of different national teams um, we have junior national teams and um you know uh, given that where we are geographically placed it can be quite expensive um they're they're all you know I guess excuses because we've we've put a you know a line in the sand today to make sure that it happens and we'll work back from there to make sure that we give them a great preparation for Spain. Um, we want to set them up for success and uh, we tru truly do see them standing side by side next to our combat Matildas and I really couldn't be proud of today.